Hey everyone, Rick here, and I thought I would take a video of my game room in its current state. I am not in my game room right now, but there are several things that I wanted to show you that used to be in my game room that are now displayed elsewhere. This is one of my miniatures display cases. This one just happens to have all of my DGS games figures for their skirmish miniature tabletop game free blades and I just about think that that's almost every single figure that they currently produce of course painted for me by blue table painting with one of the factions or free bands painted for me by GMM studios and then you're not going to get too good of a look at those with the lighting conditions the way they are it's just after midnight here those, of course, were my Warhammer Fantasy Wood Elf Army. And then these you might recognize if you saw a previous walkthrough video of mine at my old house. Just a couple of vending machines. This one dispenses trading cards for four old out-of-print trading card games. They are fully stocked in there. I can't remember how many cards of each are in there, but it's several hundred that I individually stuck in cardboard folders. And of course my Mage Knight capsule machine. I might even be able to see my Board Game Blender t-shirt through the reflection. How cool is that? But okay, so the Mage Knight capsule machine uh, is fully stocked as well. Of course you got a chest set down there also. Anyway, so let's get out of here and go down to where the real meat and potatoes is finally getting some personality around here and of course make sure that everyone's aware you have to pay the troll and you are greeted by what ends up being quite a beautiful sight Nothing really too significant has changed over here since the last time I took a video of this area. There are a few additions. I really haven't rearranged much. Heroes is a new game I picked up. Simultaneous, real-time, dice-rolling, casting spell action. Very cool. And of course, a very popular hotness game right now, Ashes, Rise of the Phoenix Born from Plaid Hat Games. So those are a couple new things I have going around here. And my super cool dragon table with dragon lamp. There's just too much dragon going on over here with some little miniature figures. And I can actually take credit for the painting of these little 15 millimeter figures. This wizard there and this knight right up front here are two of my favorites. And also all these orcs up front. The rest are for these uh, kind of Celtic warriors and goblins and orcs are from a game called um, Elric. And then just some random small goblin figures from Alternative Armies, where they sell pre-painted figures, which I love. Now here's something new that I haven't shown yet, which are the chairs. The new chairs that I have for my BoardGameTables.com table. And just the, I didn't even have a picture of the table when I went to pick out these chairs. So the fact that the color of the chairs matches the table so nicely just ended up being a happy coincidence. And black cushions to go with the black shelves. And I even thought the grid pattern on the back of the chairs reminded me of the cubes that have games inside of them. So that all worked out well. And yes, I do have a bunch of posters and other things hanging up now. So 
my dwarves from my Stonehaven Dwarves miniatures Kickstarter I backed a long time ago. Of course, this metal print from Zogar's Gaze when I backed that on Kickstarter. And Dungeon Crawl Classics RPG Blacklight Poster. Oh yeah. We have a Castles and Crusades role-playing game signed player's guide cover art print so all those actually i've gotten all those from kickstarters this one i have not this is cave evil's actual playing surface paper mat that i put in a poster frame to make it easier to play on and i just thought it looked so cool that i hung it on the wall they have since released an actual um fold out mounted board for that game as well and of course my wizards and warriors poster which is so cool 1981 now this is the ultimate you know, are you kidding me the cosmology of role-playing systems so this is it folks and it goes to 2013 it starts right there in the center at 1974 with Dungeons and Dragons and branches out to 2013 on either side and it just lists pretty much every role-playing game system ever including some of my favorites like Tunnels and Trolls and where is the fantasy trip? I know you're on here somewhere right around there. There we go. Right there. Awesome. So that's cool. Very nice. I also got that really cool frame for it. Now this next thing I'm going to show you. Well, actually, I'll, sh I'll save that for last. But I have reassembled my glass cubes here for my Warhammer Fantasy Empire and Orcs and Goblin painted armies. There are full video reviews of all those. And of course my custom kingdoms terrain. And such a cool little metal figure that says your move on there. Dragon versus wizard. And little clock CD player to put in some atmospheric music. Now the ultimate that I think that I finally was able to create down here is my own little slice of a game shop in my game room. This is what I've been collecting bits and pieces of for for so long and now I finally have it. Of course the token game shop display cabinet with tons of unopened merchandise a lot of it is out of print, old stock. Some of it is relatively new, and then I also have my painted battalions of the Empire and Britonia for Warhammer Fantasy, and just some of my absolute most favorite little pieces. I've been, you, you may have seen my prior fantasy trip. Um, now very much outdated video. I've since got these unopened blister packs of Fantasy Trip miniatures. Yes, that is so cool. Hob, uh, hobgoblins and orcs. And there is a, what do you call it? Revised um, Mox Jet. Near mint condition. Awesome. That's my Magic the Gathering claim to fame. Tons of copies of Valkenburg Castle and other unopened bunch of Fallen Empires boosters, a whole booster display case that I was so happy to find. Just some online retailer was selling this because I could not find one of these anywhere and I had to have one for my game store. And of course, the grid wall with all the unopened boot, uh, blisters, Reapers, Legendary Encounters, pre painted miniatures, bunch of Ralpartha and Ironwind Metal 
Battletech figures, and a game I had never heard of, Ronin Duels, where you actually create this these huge robotic mechs, and they come with little tiny magnets so that you can swap out sweet parts to customize them to your liking. And of course, being a Mage Knight fanatic, a bunch of Rebellion unopened starter packs and Whirlwind boosters, and just the cream of the crop. You can find these on eBay, but I was talking to a guy at a friendly local gaming store I've frequented forever, and he just gave this to me. He pulled it out of the back of the shop when we were talking about how I always used to play Mage Knight there, and he had that still from like 10 years ago or 14 years ago. That's just so, That was so cool of him to give that to me. Free Blades campaign map poster, and of course, oh, the ultimate fantasy trip relic, the $10,000 treasure hunt for the Silver Dragon promotional retailer's poster. Yes, 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 yes. A couple other posters. This Dungeon Crawl Classics one I picked up back when they were just offering these to people. That was a couple years ago. I don't even know if you can get those anymore. Darkest Night from Victory Point Games. So overall, that is my little slice of heaven. Of course, even if you couldn't quite tell from the front, back here, this old Ralph Partha game, Caverns Deep, still in shrink wrap, these old dice and dice bag kits from the armory. I have a ton of these unopened ogre games. Now these are new. These are still in print, I think. And a ton, when I said a ton of Valkenburg Castle, I meant it. I have a ton more back here unopened. And yeah, just too cool. I have been hoarding all of this unopened merchandise just waiting for the chance to fill my game store display with actual old and some new products like this is that Dungeons and Dragons uh, limited edition wood box replica of the first edition or whatever Christmas present, which looks awesome in the display case. So that is that. And that is how things are looking in the game room right now. There is still a big open space right around here. I'm debating on what to put there. Either a couch, maybe? Or a couple chairs and a smaller table? Or... Uh, like a long-ish table with some just display knickknacks on top of it. I don't know. Something will go there eventually. And a little teaser of something that I'm working on right now. In the utility room, stuff full of boxes that I will be recycling. This is where all of my miniatures terrain is going to go. In fact, every single box that you can see here is still completely packed with terrain and miniatures and this all needs to come out of there. A lot of this is the miniature building authority buildings that I've collected. Here is all of my foreground stuff but that's what I want to do is take it all out of the boxes even those and display them out on these shelves so I can just run in here grab a building take it back out put it on the table and play some darn 
miniatures games. Because with this table cover on, it adds, they say, an inch around the whole thing. And then I can roll out my frontline gaming mat on there and get some figures and terrain put on there and then it's all set to go. And of course, as you know, if you saw the prior video, you can take that cover off and it's, um, what is it, recessed down in there so you can play board games on it. So, very cool. That is how things are looking right now in my game room. So, as always, thank you for watching and until next time.